everyone i hope you're having a good festive season i know it's been absolutely hectic i've been running around like a lunatic and i think we all do on these days and i thought i'll do a quick quick video to show you my configurations tray um, that i completed yesterday um it's you all recognize the papers it's graphic 45 nutcracker sweet papers and I've had this project in my mind since last year and I took time to make it this year even though I was very busy so I, I worked with it I started it I think it took me a week I started it the Saturday last and of course the ready-made um, configuration boxes were not good enough for me so I actually started it from scratch I made my own boxes I want you to see the tassel behind Clara that's holding back the curtain just while I'm talking so what I did was I decided what images I wanted where I knew I wanted Clara over there and I knew I wanted that sweet lady in the other corner at the bottom because she's quite heavy and so what I did I measured her and I knew I wanted the clock so that I knew I wanted this box this size I think it's about 10 inches you know the whole width of the thing so I proceeded to make my boxes with chipboard and plain white printing paper. And then I started decorating them. I knew I wanted an outdoor winter scene up here. Um, you can see this lace. I hope I'm not getting my hand over the speakers. The, this is some lace I used over here. And at the back, the whole back of this box is lined with linen. Linen, and then I used... A mask and the snow ticks and I use it up like a molding paste I put it through the mask and I got that texture uh, that little Christmas tree and what I've got on top of this Christmas tree here was an icicle back in the day <laughs> okay let me first start and say my thank yous first of all um, I first want to say thanks to Janet from Nana JL54. She sent me this most amazing rack last week. And um, it has some broken bling in it. That was one of them. I've added um, um, stickles in that one and that one. And I see now maybe I can add some more now that it's dried. I need to do that. She sent me this lovely key which was perfect, there was nothing wrong with that Janet, and she sent me that, and then she sent me the little flappy birds, as my grandson calls them, and here is another flappy bird, thanks Janet, okay, let's start with the bottom box, I've got Clara, and I've got her like an indoor scene, and because I had the, the blue scene on top, I thought that this paper was good, to use as the view from the outside of you know to look outside so I picked the blue there with a ballerina and then I used some of this ribbon here can you see I use that for the curtain I use that for the curtain then I use a fine trim for the fine lace curtain I've cut a little piece of doily over there to make a little throw I've got the same doily behind the 25 up there. Um, the little chipboard um, furniture and lamp is from a company in Greece called Sfragidomania that cuts chipboard stuff. I've done, I braided the whole inside of this box with gold. And you can see the inside of that box has got like a crystal trim. Uh, this box, can we see it? There, can you see there's the same crystal trim on this box there? And uh, that's the snow text glitter snow that I've used as a mask on the back of that paper. Um, actually, this paper is in the book, but I used the back page of the pack for that. Okay, let's go back to this guy. And right at the bottom there, I have a little teddy bear. That's Clara's teddy bear. Um, here's the mouse king we used uh, the spotted paper there I've got a, a keyhole at the back there I've got a little Tim Holtz 
ideology thing that says love. Can you see it? There it is. That's the King Mouse's crown that's hanging on a chain over there. On the top there is just the key and 25 and Christmas memories. And down here is a sweetie lady with a clock, gingerbread men and sweeties. There's some sweeties on the side there too. Okay. Um, on the top here is a Christmas scene like I've told you. I've used that little white ribbon flowers from Janet too. A crystal flower. Some snowflake. That's a little pin. I don't know where that came from. The kids had that. It was like a little buttonhole pin. So I used that. Uh, the bee I found in a Lesbos this summer at the junk shop. So I've used her because we've all been so busy and I call us busy bees. So I put that. Then let me just tell you about this. Let me get it here. This little girl there in metal is actually a votive that the Greek Orthodox people make them in silver and gold and they offer them to saints for the healing of their children and, you know, healing of body parts or whatever. So I liked her. My daughter's expecting my first little granddaughter. And I thought the little girl would be good for the new baby and for my girls and just to keep us all healthy. And I've put that blue crucifix there because Christmas is about the birth of Christ. And it says, live, love, laugh. And on the side here, I have count your blessings. And those are just stickled snowflakes there. Um, I forgot to mention that what I've used on this lamp, this is a little chipboard lamp. I don't know if you can see it there behind the gingerbread man is the 12 days of Christmas paper. That's a small little paper with the little um, posy on it. So I thought that was nice for the lamp. And then I embossed the bottom of the lamp. Okay. And then lastly, I have the three little Christmas trees here with a year with 13 on it, which will remind me that I made this project in the year 2013. Little gingerbread man. And the paper right at the back of these um, Christmas trees is from 12 Days of Christmas. I actually wanted to use the roses from that paper, but it didn't work out. I've used it on my other houses here. Can you see? There's my graphic 45 houses on the tree. Two of them. And I've used the, the flowers on there. Okay. And up there are the fluffy flowers with Believe in the Magic of Christmas. And then just quickly, round, I've trimmed the sides of the box with lace. As you can see, that goes all the way around. And at the back, I chose the candy stripe paper. And, oopsie, let me just get my little stand out the way. And I made a lace pocket. And what I did is I measured three centimeters in from the edges. And I did the same on the reverse side of this paper. And then I taped down muslin. I put my tape runner with a bit of tape on either side of the seam line and I taped down muslin and then I machined the lace and the tool together. So um, I didn't want this pocket dripping off the paper. So this is attached to fabric on the inside. So I thought that was quite stable. And what I did is I just used the little uh, story sections of the paper line to make a little booklet. And what I love about Graphic 45 is the detail. They have, it looks almost as if this book has been sewn together. Let me see if I can open it with one hand. Can you see it almost has a little line in the center that looks like it's been sewn. I've, I've stuck the, these pages together in such a way that um, I can get little pockets in there. So I might put a little tags with photos in this book looks very much like a little passport and then um, this one has this in the front with a lace trim some sewing the back I've used the ballerina and I didn't want to get it too bulky so I just did that for the spine
put some blue ribbon and you all know the paper that's in here 